Hello everybody, welcome back to another Retro Saturday game, and today will be the first Dungeon Siege. Um, I attempted to make a character, I had an issue with my last video, so I'm going to retry it again, they decided to have a note. Alright, I have to go through this again, I know there's a way of skipping it. Uh... Is it escape or that accident? Ah, it was escape. There we go. I don't want to go through that. Uh, how do I pan screen? Use... I know these. How do I pan screen? Ah, there we go. It's a bit jumpy, actually. I don't like that. Um, let's see, is everything up here right? That's right, that's right, that's right, uh... I'm gonna test this all out. Alright, I think I got everything. Uh, something actually changed up on me again. There we go. Now we can sort of see my HP. I wish I could move that a little bit. Um... That can go there. It's actually useful to know. I never knew what W did. Alright, so what I thought... Well, what I think my issue is... Yeah, much better. It had to be the shadowing. Ooh, a branch. So I have my inventory. Yep. Oh, I prefer my dagger. Active spell, active spell, I want that one. Alright, we might want W instead. Alright, so the issue I have to lower the top part a bit. Oh, hello. Got that one there. Hey, man. I just want the person, I think. I don't think I can use this. No, oh, two to six. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Here you go. Chicken. No, oh, there's more. Pick up. Nope, I don't want those, I don't want those, I don't want those. Let's continue on. So if I start flashing, my health is slow. I can drink potions and I can pause the game. I have stuff to do that, so we'll be. Uh, many after oh, hello. The auto save that's actually going to be useful. To scrub, we should all pay our respects to the original scrub. That won't be useful. There's nothing around me. Across the bridge, I shall go. I'm disabling tips. Still named the Legend of Dorks. Well, Dork of Legends. Oh, 
Oh boy. Just shoot you with my bow then. Don't hit the tree. Honestly, I don't know how I should have this character be built. Ah, oh, great. Shoot. That was a nice lightning bolt. I prefer the, even though it's lesser, it's a bit more balanced. Um, you look dead to me. Oh, that's because you're a human. Oops. Let's see, uh, Alright. Yeah, leveled up. In the melee aspect. This game isn't like normal games. You don't have an experience bar. I mean, levels. You just level up your skills you use. I'll show those in a second, since I'm going to have to head back to my inventory. So how it goes is you level these up, and these are what affect your stats. Each and every one of these directly affects all stats. 5, 9. Goodbye, old guy. Should wait. Pick those up. Oh, we forgot about later on in game. I'm gonna want these back. Strength will affect your health and mana. Mana slightly, health a lot. Intelligence is vice versa, a lot, slightly. Dexterity increases uh, range weapon ac accuracy and my armor rating. Melee affects all of these. More on this, slightly, slightly. More on this, for range, these are slightly, both the magics work on intelligence, slightly on strength, and with these, every level up enables me to use, I think these are what enable me to use better weapons, but it also increases my, uh, how well I use these type of weaponry. And these just unlock new spells to make them powerful. Uh, what else do I have? You have spell books. They're annoying. Stay on top of them though if you find one that you can buy. And you uh. Behold the original scrub. With the hat. That's actually the first time I got a hat. This early in game. Not even breaking old records. Certainly in the game, I usually am just stuck with the tattered leather I'm wearing. Oh yeah. Come on, get the puppy. You know it's not right to kill animals. Uh, I'm gonna need my nature magic eventually. Giant fish. And you get angel magic. Sword out. I might actually have to use a health potion. But it that did not tickle. I forgot there's vicious fish in this pond. There's one 
right there. So just for you guys, you can state what I should be like, if I should be a mage, spell sword, magical archer, pure archer, pure warrior, pure mage, um, try and be a jack of all trades. That's actually pretty nice to know. Yay! Work of Legends has achieved level 1 in Nature Magic. What should mean? Hey guys! Don't mind me. Oh! Yes! That's actually what I've been after. This nifty little spell will be useful. Turns everything on the ground that I see into money. Except for potions. Um, that's actually the quickest I've ever got that also. Uh, I don't want that. I want that. I really use these spells. That's why. Level 3. Um... I don't know what's that way, what's that way? Uh... Can we pick a... Can we get rid of these? And let's work on my bow. So if anyone has this game or plans to get it off of Steam, uh, be prepared to lose the multiplayer, because that's like, that's the next thing you do in this game once you complete the main quest line. So you just play multiplayer, so you can continue on with your character. I got more enemies, yay. Go away! Go away! Oh wait, never mind, I forgot. Can't be crappy leveled in here again. Uh, oh, the bear. Trying to take it off magic. We see the first we all get to see the ferocious bear, as it barely takes anything from my magic. I get the new armor. That's five to health. I'll find something a bit more useful. So I was just wondering, how did the bear get gold? Hey, hey grab the potion. Grumble. Oh, Grumble. I don't think you guys can see him, but right there is an elite. We can we can slightly see the haze, and that symbolizes that it's an elite or a boss. 
I'm actually going to get rid of him because he's by far the annoying enemy. Ow. Drink health potion. That one. Alright, they're gone. Good for club. Two to four. I don't use the fire stuff at all. Don't use combat magic that much. Alright. I really need to get this skill higher. With that, I'll leave off right here. Uh, I'll just save the way it is. And I'll see you guys later.